Hello, and welcome to MGS. My name is AJ Lee, and I'm the Product Portfolio Manager. And we'd really like to thank you to, for spending some time here today via Pack Expo Connects. We got a lot to show you, but let's just get started. Chris? Hi, my name is Chris Jones. I'm the Regional Sales Manager for the Product Handling Group at MGS. Today, we'll be talking about the MGS Top Sorter and Ecom. Both of these machines help our life science customers inspect, feed, and apply folded literature to bottles and cartons as efficiently as possible while providing documentation for validation. AJ, would you like to kick it off? Sure thing. Let me just share my screen and we'll get going. As we discussed, we're going to talk more about uh, proven innovations in outsourcing and how that works to save you as a customer money. Uh, first, that introduction, MGS is a small packaging company based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And over the last uh, 30 to 40 years, we've really built a strong niche in the life sciences, that being medical device, pharmaceutical packaging. Uh, and it really aligns with the, the Midwest medical device hub that we have here in Minneapolis. And we've built a strong team of people who really understand both the technology, but also the regulatory hurdles with the life science, as well as the efficiencies and you know objectives of any kind of pharmaceutical device line. This can really be seen in the uh, reliable top cert too. It's really become the industry leader when it comes to placing literature outserts on your pharmaceutical bottles. Um, it can really accommodate a wide range of, of outsert thicknesses, bottle types. It's extremely high speed. And when you pair it with the ECOM, as Chris is going to talk about in a little bit later on, it really increases the runtime without operator assistance, um, just reducing the, the full-time employment levels required to run this product and, and allowing you to redeploy that, that valuable asset elsewhere. Uh, we've sell, sold several of these to just about everybody in the industry. And over the time, the, the Top Surge 2 has really developed to be a, a truly versatile setup in this application, whether that's a single out cert or a twin cert, as we call them, using double the, the literature, square bottles, round bottles, no literature. Um, it really all do, works very well with all sizes. Um, as we get into the product demo, Chris. Thank you, AJ. And if you have any questions, remember the live chat is there and people are available and able to answer your questions. So please utilize it if you do have any. Moving on to the product demo, you have an overview shot of our top server with an ECOM. An ECOM stands for Extended Capacity Outsert Magazine. How an ECOM operates is it allows your top serter to run for about 20 additional minutes without operator assistance by feeding outserts into the top serter magazine. When the outsert level is low, the ECOM will alert the operator who can then refill the magazine in a few minutes while it still operates. For every 20 minute run cycle, this frees your operator for other tasks for about 15 minutes. So over the course of an entire shift of that operator, about 75% of their time can now be reallocated to other tasks and activities. This allows the e-com to pay for itself in under a year. So if you do have an existing outserter or you're in the market for another one, I highly recommend considering the e-com as it pays for itself and offers you greater flexibility and efficiency in your operation. Moving on to a overview and a video of the e-com, as you'll see, it increases your magazine capacity by over 20%. It's designed to be loaded ergonomically, and it is finger safe for it to be loaded while in operation. The operator takes the trade outserts and dispenses the outserts into the chutes, and then the outserts are positively handled. And like I, I said previously, are transitioned from the ecom into the magazine of the top server. There are no change parts required. And this ECOM uh, uses a servo motor uh, on a slide to maintain that back pressure into the top server. Uh, next, I will transition over and showing you the top server and how that ECOM uh, works with that piece of equipment. 
Now we'll delve into the top server and how it cooperates with the e-com. But first we'll review the product size ranges for the outserts and the bottles that can be run on a top server. Here on the left, you have the minimum uh, product size range for both the outserts and the bottles, no matter whether it's glass, plastic, round, square, or rectangular. And then here is your maximum product size range with eight inches being the tallest bottle. We have two different models of a top server. One is the random cycle mode that can run up to speeds of 120 bottles per minute. And then the timing screw mode that allows you to run up to 240 bottles per minute. So we have two different models to fit what fit the need and speed that you have. Here is a video showing an overview of the e-com with the top server. You can see the outserts here being fed into the magazine of the top server to then be placed and glued onto the bottle caps. This first shot will show you a up view of the e-com actually going through a transition on the chute. This mechanism will slide back and maintain that back pressure on the stack of outserts once it transitions over. And then it will continue to feed those outserts into the top server. Here, you can see up here is where that transition point as it moves from the e-com into the powered magazine of the top server and is then picked and placed onto the bottles. You can see our tooling that is uh, releasing one and holding the stack back for the picking to then be glued and placed onto the bottle caps. And then you have the inspection that is scanning the barcode on the outserters and any rejects will be rejected and that data will be collected and validated. Another thing I should mention about the ECOM is that it does have motorized height adjustment to match the top server and adjusting for various bottle height sizes. Here again is some information on the two models that exist of the top server. The first, as I said, was the random cycle. You can see the gating that's timing uh, the bottles in for the placement of the outsert. And then on the timing screw, you can of course see the timing screw uh, bringing the bottles in, uh, the rotary uh, pick action of the outsert and gluing them, allowing it to run at a higher speed. Uh, here is the reject station uh, scanning that barcode and rejecting. Our top sorter excels at accuracy and validation. Um, here, as has been mentioned previously, is the literature inspection and then the verified bottle reject. Regarding the inspection, that inspection can happen prior to placement, after placement, or both. Here's some video of the outserts being picked, inspected, and then placed on the down motion. Here is verified bottle reject as shown before. The bottles are getting scanned, and then rejects are being placed into a reject bin um, where the data is documented uh, for validation purposes. Our top server is compliant with FDA regulations. Um, as shown on our outsert range earlier, we can accommodate the thicker outserts supporting the FDA regulations for larger font size and format and contact requirements. Here's a video showing our pneumatic clipping um, with the literature. Uh, this allows us to pick one outsert at a time, eliminating uh, mispicks or picking doubles. So that way we're only picking one literature every single time for placement. We've been building these units for decades and we've really honed in our uh, glue system. Uh, the glue we use has a fantastic pot life, good adherence properties, and great nozzle control so you don't have any of those stringing issues. You also have the barcode inspection that leads to good validation. And we do have pharmaceutical validation assistance for documentation to reduce the commissioning efforts. Our top servers are also built with an Allen Bradley touchscreen interface and PLC. 
uh, making the equipment reliable and easy to operate. If you have any questions, the live chat is available now and will be throughout the course of the week with people available to respond. You can also reach us via email. So if you do have any questions or any applications you'd like to discuss, please do reach out to us. And if you are considering an outserter now or in the near future, or if you have an existing outserter already, I do highly recommend that you investigate the ecom. It can pay for itself with a quick ROI and also allows you the flexibility and the efficiency uh, to use operators for greater tasks than just refilling the outserter. We thank you for your time and we look forward to working with you soon. Thank you.